and they try to identify these women by their race. 64% of our audience thinks Candace is mixed Hispanic and black. 77% of our audience thinks Adria or Adria is biracial, black, and white. 90% of our audience said that Marvell is biracial, black, and white. I am 100% African American. My mother is black, my father is black, so that makes me black. <laughs> okay. Adria? 100% black and proud. Okay. Marvell? I'm 100% African American. 100% African American. Okay. How many of you guys are shocked? Obviously. Wow. Shocked. Somebody just said shocked. So I'm sure this response from the audience going, oh my gosh, is, is nothing new to you guys. Um, Candace, tell me when, when people see your hair and your skin with you being a woman of color or a black woman, what do they think and how does that make you feel? Every day of my life I get people coming up to me, oh, your hair is so nice, you have light skin, like what are you? Are you like Puerto Rican? I've heard people ask me, am I Indonesian, Dominican? Um, part white, and I'm just like, you know, I'm 100% African American. I mean, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Do they, do they seem disappointed when you yeah, say that? Yeah, that you're like, they're so, you're so yeah. exotic looking. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, um, Adria, tell me about your, you had a white classmate and she had mixed kids. Yeah, she came up to me in school one day and she decided to ask, oh, um, are you mixed? No. Oh, really? You're not? Oh, because both of my kids are. See, here are their pictures. Oh, I was just wondering what they'd look like when they get older. How can I determine what your kids will look like? Wow. Okay. And um, Marvell, tell me um, about the speeding ticket that you got. Yes, I actually got a speeding ticket, and the cop didn't ask me what was my race. He just assumed that I was white. He just checked white. Got it. And do you think that your lives are harder because you are of mixed race, and but when you're lineage, the direct lineage is, is black or African American? It definitely makes things more complicated for me. Um, I'm a black woman and I'm very proud of who I am and where I come from. But not only do I have to deal with what, what goes on, the racism from ignorant people who are of other races, you have to deal with the poor mindsets of people who are African American. Mm -hmm who think, okay, she's light-skinned, so she must think she's cute, or she must think she's better than me, or she gets more advantages, and I'm not like that. I just want to say, you know, not every person is like that. You need to take each person for who they are. Well, I have Janelle here in the audience. You can stand on up, Janelle. Um, you feel that there are a lot of advantages. Tell me about how you see yourself and then how you feel you, the world or you look at these women on the stage. Well, being both African American, we all go through hard times and struggles, but to be a darker skinned African woman, uh, African American woman versus someone who is assumed to be mixed, my struggles are definitely a lot harder than yours would be. I heard you say that, you know, people assume that you're mixed and then they that you go and they say, where are you from? Are you from Indonesia? The excitement that they feel for you is the contempt that they feel towards me. When I walk into a room, I'm slave black. That's it. That means I'm dark. What is slave black? That means that I'm really dark skinned. There's no other way. All the bad stuff associated with black I have people. I've been black for 34 years. I have never heard slave black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like sometimes you can pass maybe for mixed or maybe white. They're, when you're slave black, you can't pass for anything what? other Did than black. Did you make this up? <laughs> That's what it, yes. You yes. made up slave black, okay, because there were a lot of slaves of all different colors. Yes, but, there were, but, but when I say that, that's my expressing all the negative connotation. Like, you remember the field versus the house? Got it. Yes. I'm in the field, there's no but way. But that's exactly the problem, the slave mentality, the connotation that being light or looking more like Massa is better I, than a person right. who is darker you're skin. Right. That's not my problem, that's society's problem. You can't change everybody, but you can change yourself when those girls and walk how in, you think of yourself. When those type of girls walk into a room, is there a contempt that you feel inside? It's not more of a contempt, but it's more of a, there's always gonna be, you guys have it a lot easier. And from the moment that we walk in, to a room together, it's evident. When I look at TV, it's evident. You can identify with the people you see on a commercial. I can't 90% of the time. You can walk into a, a store and find hair products and makeup that works for you. I can't. When people walk up to me, 
are you from a different country? Are you maybe from like, are you maybe Guyanese or something? No. Oh. Like they're almost disappointed tell because me about, I'm just tell me, black. Tell me about your issues that you had about you were ostracized so much and you wanted to be darker. Yeah, people picked on me that I wanted to be of a darker complexion because I felt like, oh, okay, well, if my skin was brown, I wouldn't get called mellow yellow, light bright. I wouldn't get, Talk you know, it. oh, your hair is so nice. Oh, your skin is so that's light. I mean, that's not fair to automatically yeah, your assume. Your hair is so nice. Have oh, you yeah. ever been told, oh, you're pretty for a dark skin girl? And I've been told repeatedly. Oh, repeatedly Repeatedly. But have you ever been told by someone, oh, well, you know what, when I first met you, I didn't like you because of the color of your skin? Yes, we all have been told that one. But to have no friends because of something like that? Okay, but I know that when... And I'm talking about somebody of your complexion. We became friends later, but she said, oh, yeah, when I first saw you, I automatically didn't like you. That's well, not fair to me. You didn't even get a chance to get to know me. That's true, but that affects both of us. There are always okay. going to be people who are judged like I that. I have a solution right here. <laughs> Y'all got more in common than you think. Of course. Because you're on the opposite ends of the spectrum, right? It's like, it's this competition of, well, let me tell you how bad I have it. Well, let me tell you, I had to hike up mountains barefoot. And the next person is, well, I had to crawl on my knees and they bled. It's like, it's all pain.